Welcome to Technical Drawing. Today we are going to see how to convert pentagon into square. Now this sum comes under area conversion in geometry where we have to convert a pentagon into a square. So what we need to do? First we need to convert a pentagon into a triangle, triangle into a rectangle and then rectangle into a square. So we'll see that. So first we will draw a pentagon. You take side 40. Then you mark 54 degree see this then again from here you can mark 54 wherever they intersect from that point you draw a circle then you take side 40 and you cut on right hand side see this as well as on the left side again from here you cut on up from here also you can cut it's optional but it should come at the same point it should come exactly above the center then you join this will take time in the sense if you're doing it for the first time it may not come accurate you need to do it three four times remember that is a key in geometry whenever you're not getting it you need to do it two three times so we got pentagon a b c d e side 40 mm now we need to convert this pentagon into triangle so what we will do we will join a d Now I'll draw parallel to AD. See this. I can keep it over here. No. I'll keep it over here. See this. This this will be easier. So I can slide like this. Understood? So you have to always keep it in a such a fashion that you can draw parallel line. Now see one more time. So this is instead of ADE now we have another triangle a p d so we have converted one triangle into another triangle now see again we'll convert this triangle b c d see this now i'll draw parallel to this so now we'll draw we'll convert b c d so again see this i can't keep it over here I'll keep it on the other side where it will be easier for me to slide I'll keep the scale firm and I will slide this set square see this so I can draw a parallel line and then I'll extend this so wherever it will cut that is point Q so instead of B, C, D, now we have B, Q, D. So you can see this triangle, P, Q, D is the same area of area A, B, C, D, E. Now what we'll do, we'll take this height and we'll divide this height into two parts. see this so when you take height into half and you if you extend this what you will get you will get rectangle so we got rectangle pqrs so we have converted triangle pqd into rectangle pqrs now after that what we need to do from q you extend line take q to r and rotate wherever it will cut you write as point T now bisect PT how do you bisect line PT from T you take more than half cut down as well as up from P also you do the same thing maintain the same radius
after that you draw vertical line so you'll get midpoint that is M now take M to P and draw arc see this M to T or M to P it will be same draw arc semicircle then you extend RQ wherever it will cut with the semicircle that will be point let's say U so Q and U is the side of the square now we'll take this side and we'll cut from or maybe I'll just change this name let's say F so QF is the side of the square we'll take that side and we'll cut on this side as well as this side so we'll get the required square when you'll join this this is point G and edge so you got the required square so we have converted pentagon into square this is very good sum in area conversion where we are almost doing four sums together pentagon to triangle triangle to rectangle rectangle to square and pentagon to square so make sure that you draw question as well as answer dark so pentagon and square should be dark and you should write answer also in guideline So you, draw, so, so you draw guideline, right? Area of square. First answer. Q, F, G, H equals to area of pentagon A, B, C, D, E. Thank you.